You're the one that's going to talk about stuff. You're the one that answers the questions. Yeah, she's got yeah. most of it. Text for Canada, FYI.com, Hornhog Radio, the podcast, and all that. Miss Lisa Garner. He's so proud of you for that. I, uh, did you show him the text? I showed him the text last night. Yeah, he was laughing. And Miss Dawn Parker. Uh, have, I mean, the schedule. It's cool. Yeah. Do you feel um, some anxiety when you look at this? Nah. Because we're coming into the busy season at the Four States Fairgrounds here. And I do mean busy. So there's something uh, almost every week now. We've got the dog show coming up. Little Bridges Rodeo. Uh, the big Ag Expo. Bull riding. Bull riding. Uh, oh, well, you get, I got, we got the list. That's just in February. That's that's what I'm saying. That's just <laughs> this coming up month. Um, the Four States Fair, though, 77 years, 77. has made the move to, to springtime, and I, I like it. We love it. It's the, uh, I don't know about everybody, but I, as far as social media and all that, there was a whole lot less fussing and well, you're not happy when it's 100 degrees, no matter what. So you get here and you're already mad. Something's going to happen, you know. Cooler weather means happier disposition. Now, the event I'm most excited about is... The Demolition Derby. The, the Demolition... 31 years Demolition Derby out here. So, uh, And this year, more than ever, you want to get involved. Go out there and get you a jalopy. And... Come be a part of this. Demo. What's the money this year? Um, it's the same as last year. I believe it's three thousand for first place, two thousand for second place. Not sure what third place is. Oh. Thousand. Okay. And then it's thousand for third. Per heat. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the money just goes up every year. So if you've been thinking about it, I'm gonna send out a personal challenge to Jeff Ford, Jeff Ford and Becky Ford. I I'm gonna challenge them because that's the most, one of the most exciting parts for Same. me, is them fighting each other. Right. She won last year. She does that quite often. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I th was that her, that was her first year to actually win the, the Derby though, overall. Was it? I don't know. I don't They'll, think so, they, I don't know. They'll she'll correct know. me. Yeah, yeah, she will. <laughs> but yeah, so, so the Demolition Derby coming up, but just looking at what you've got on the way, the dog show, I got to meet, uh, you know, Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, we met Heidi Hennig, the, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever lady. I mean, you've got all of these world-class show dogs. Yes. Come and tell us about that. I think they are looking at having about 1,100 dogs this year. 1,100. That's what they had, I think, entered when I talked to her last. The most I believe we've had here was 12 or 1,300. But they're working on that. It's it's so great that they already have scheduled next year to be a three day show. So it's been two days traditionally, but next year they'll move to three days. Oh, with that many, they're going to have to. That's kind of like the running WJ when they come out here with all thousands of barrel racers. Right. <laughs> you it's know, a week long. Yeah. Race. And so you're talking about <laughs> continuous. Yeah, it's an all day, all mm -hmm. night kind of thing. But yeah, I enjoy the dog show. I, I do. You put the mats down. Run them in circles. It's it's a lot more than that if you come out here. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the Little Bridges Rodeo. Tell us something about that. They are new this year. We've worked for well, several years to try to get them here. They're I was not a new say, They've been around since like um, the 50s. A long time. Yeah. 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 And Back they, before Loretta Lynn Rodeo that used to be the Four States Fair Rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> that was before my time. I can say that. <laughs> That's right. But your family but, was involved with yes, it. Yes. Yes, they were. But they hold their finals in Guthrie, Oklahoma. So they have like a 10 day long event. But this is one of the more local chapters, but it's a national association. So if you're from Oklahoma and you wanna run in it, your points count. If you wanna come from Minnesota, run in it, then your points count. So they have a whole lot of different associations, but they're all part of a national organization. So we're excited to add them to our calendar this year. We've worked for about five years to try to get a date that that worked for them. And so, well, it's it's I think it's exciting for our young cowboys and girls. Um, it's have, a lot more than have just more options. yeah. It's a lot more than mutton busting. Yeah, and it runs all year long. They right. do you know through the whole calendar. They're not just the summer or spring event. They're all year long. Right, right. Miss Dawn, how do you like it out here? You made the move. To... I love it out here. Are you kidding? Well, I, I, 
the ladies or that I work with and you know up front. Have you got her country culture to the I mean she kinda had country culture when she came along, you know. Her history has lots of <laughs> You know, variety of music. <laughs> I'm not talking about music. I'm talking about the culture, the lifestyle. Uh, no, see. we don't have boots That's what I'm saying. Yet. No. <laughs> are you kidding? These are waterproof. I can get them muddy. It doesn't matter what I do to them. I can beat them up. They're comfortable. We'll work on that. <laughs> what? Walk her through her first day at Expo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she'll have yeah. boots. She'll, she'll have boots come April. <laughs> but no, all right. So, yeah, this is a, a full list. Uh, take a look at uh, fourstatesfair.com. Yes, Dawn's been working on getting that all updated and getting our information I, out there. So I, I saw that. I, I put a link up, I think, for something the other day, and I thought, wow, it's a little easier to navigate. Now, you've been doing that? Working on that. So, so what else are you working on? Um, that's it. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, there's been a lot of stuff that uh, I, it's a lot busier out here than what most people realize, and I, I realized that as soon as I walked in the door. There's a lot of stuff that goes on at the fairgrounds besides the fair. Yeah. So I've been kind of getting a little bit of, uh, you know, it's a hit the ground running education. Yeah, you don't you a, don't get to learn this part or that part is hey yeah, go do this. From right. the end of April, <laughs> you know? you'll already be working on 2023. Yes. Right. You know, and you still got all of the rest. Of, and this isn't even the whole year. No, that's how I think until. Yeah, August. this is like the end of summer. I mean, it's not even. So God, yeah. keep up with them. Text. You can do that on Facebook. We've You're, been updating Facebook. Are you running all the social media now? Okay, so Miss Dawn, that's who you blame. That's who. <laughs> yeah. When when somebody on the midway is giving away it's lizards. Events, you're uh, going, fairs it's not bad. It's yeah. not lizards. Come on. Our goldfish that's my or first whatever. first question. Do you have lizards? Because if yeah. you do, you cannot give them away on our fairgrounds. Yeah, if you give away goldfish, <laughs> Pete will show up. Wait, has yeah. this happened before? Yes. Oh. Iguanas. We had, well, what was it, three years ago? They weren't even real iguanas. No, they were real iguanas. No, we're like chameleons. Well, anyway, they were giving away reptiles, and somebody was mad because their kid came home with one, and she was not okay with it, so yeah, she what called do you mean I gotta go out and animal worms services. To and, Wait, did she leave her kid at the fair unescorted? Then we may send all of them home. With the free puppy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you leave your kids out here unescorted, I'm gonna give now, them a goldfish. And that's something that we're working with the police department on, because I don't know no. if you remember last year, if you were 18, under 18, you were not allowed to be out without your parents. Yeah, it's, it, you know, it's guidelines. This is family Family fun, and we're going to keep it that way out here. Um, just take it up with Miss Dawn. <laughs> That's spelled J E F F E A S. Tickets are on sale now for the bull riding in February, but also for the fair. Uh, are they on for the fair? They're already? on for the fair. We're just kind of soft selling them now. The fair rodeo box seats are not on sale yet, but if you just want to get general admission tickets, all of those are up on our website. Okay. Just pull up fourstatesfair.com, go to buy now, or tickets, it's tickets, and then buy now. Well, I, I was going to say to, for the dog show, everything else, but I didn't know they were already. So, Demolition Derby, too? Yes. yes. You can if you're going to get in, if you want to be in the Demolition Derby, we've already got the entry form. We've already got all of the rules, all of that ready, and you can download it, fill it out, and send it back to us and get it. All right, so we come on. We are on a roll. Let's get it done. All right. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you. You want them, too. All right.